Hello everybody, that is better. I knew there was something wrong a little earlier. <laughs> the screen looked a bit off, but all fine now. Now, everything looks a little bit different today because I've been out at work all day. I've come home and I need to record some sessions. So I've had to rearrange things. So do I look like I'm in a different place? <laughs> Well, we have a real treat for you this evening. We are reading Liverpool Live Bird. Now, if you're from Liverpool, then it's a really good story. But if you're not, it's a great way to find out about our Live Birds. Now, it's written by Ali Harwood. Okay, now, Ali was not born in Liverpool, um, Wiltshire, I think. Okay, and went to university in Liverpool and I don't think ever went home. Loved our city so much. Okay, so I'm going to read Ali's book. And because Ali is also an artist, pictures, Ali's too. I Don't you know I always love when an illustrator writes the story and does the pictures too and you know i couldn't do you because you know i can't draw <laughs> so are we ready for ali's book now it is a beautiful beautiful poem okay and i'll show you some of the pictures as we go through so some of our younger yogis may not totally understand it but you will love the rhythm of it and then if you went on to purchase this book then there are so many beautiful pictures. And Ali also tells us at the back, lots of places in Liverpool, you can go to find the liver birds. So it's like a little treasure hunt too. It's wonderful. Okay, here we go. Liverpool Liver Birds by Ali Harwood. Liverpool Liver Birds up in the sky. From where have we flown and to where will we fly? Gleaming and glinting, two giants you stand, reflecting your people, connecting your land. Liverpool liver birds up on your domes. Are those your outposts or are they your homes? Marley, my little doggy, I'm so sorry to interrupt. I've just had Mitchy. You naughty, naughty boy. I'm so sorry. Marley, no. Deary me. Both may be true as we come and we go, while the breath of the Mersey out it ebbs and in it flows. Look at the fabulous picture the River Mersey, Can you see the liver buildings, fabulous. Liverpool liver birds, how were you hatched? Some say your eagles, non-believers, mismatched. Cormorants, herons, your heritage broad. You mix when you match, whether home or abroad. There are all the different birds that some people say. The liver birds are a mixture of all of them. Liverpool liver birds, what have you seen? Hustling and bustling in boom times and lean. After each sunset in dark times below, your bright sparks of music and poetry glow. Ah, oh, now there's lots of people on there, I'm sure you will notice. Can you see the Beatles on there? <laughs> yes, I think so. Liverpool liver birds, what have you heard? Comedy, tragedy, life in each word. Passions whipped up by the winds and the seas. Passengers, voyagers, both chained and free. See, so this book can bring around lots of thoughts for you to go and investigate. So what does passengers, voyagers, both chained and free mean? If you go and look that up. Liverpool liver birds, who do you guide? Welsh, Irish, Chinese with Merseyside pride. Polish, Somali, the list never ends. 
under your wings the love scout richly blends. Oh, look. Oh. oh. These pictures are so fabulous. They are so colourful. Liverpool liver birds. Why do you stay? You look out for ships as they each make their way. Through the storms in the drink, but you also look in as the pubs open doors. Put your head in a spin. <laughs> Liverpool liver beds, you're not alone. When you walk, sail or fly as your fledglings are known. To be found at the Blue Coat, St Luke's and beyond. Embodied in actions, your icon lives on. Liverpool liver birds, what do you feel? Belief and potential, where myths become real. A people of passion whose purpose mm. won't rest. Liverpool's flying, this city, your nest. Liverpool liver birds, we are all one. We are blessed with fine feathers and to shine like the sun. We are unified beings of yesterday's highs who can aim for wise futures, so now let us rise. Wow, isn't that fabulous? Did you enjoy that story of Ali's? It was brilliant, wasn't it? A beautiful piece of poetry of our wonderful Liverpool liver birds. So as I say, if you're not from Liverpool and you know, when all this is over, you pop over, there is a list in Ali's book of where you would find the Liverpool liver birds. And I wonder if a lot of people from Liverpool know where those liver birds are too. In here. <laughs> when the weather gets better and we are all out and about, I'm going to go on a liver bird trail, I think. Now, Ali has painted the most wonderful picture on the side of the wall on Wavertree High Street. It's wonderful. It's at the Wavertree CIC and Ali and I and Jude, our friend that wrote all the rhyming text for our book too, have all given Wavertree CIC some of our books for World Book Day. For the children in the area so that will be really good. So everybody, what a beautiful story. Friday we have another treat. We do. I mean <laughs> it's a really funny story but it's got a lovely meaning behind it and that book, The Monkey with the Wrong Bum, is by a Liverpool author too, Asa Murphy. So be sure to tune in at 7pm on Friday and I'll see you all then. Okay, you take care, stay safe and well. Namaste everybody, good night, God bless. <sighs> Love you all to bits. Bye for now. Goodbye Sharon, nice to see you on. <laughs>